Yes, October 3rd, Pig Fan Battle promo. Yeah, promo out now. Yes. <laughs> test, test, test. <laughs> test. Yeah. One, two, one, two. Y'all ever seen that video of that cat saying, yes? <laughs> That's one of my favorite videos ever. <laughs> yeah, I saw the dog that went, woof. You see that dog? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he went, woof. Yeah, I was like, wow. Thank you for the prop early. Thank yes, you, thank I you. apologize. The enunciation was crazy. Right Don't worry, now. man. We we gonna get we gonna get all we gonna get we gonna get to it all. But before we start off, Vlad, please give a shout out to uh, our sponsors. Yes, yes, man. Salute to our sponsor, thepeacewatchers.com. Thepeacewatchers.com is a social app that will help you feel peace and secure when you are in threatening situations. If you are a lady that is afraid to walk from point A to point B. Drop your location in the app and Peace Watchers will show up to help ensure your safety to get to where you're trying to get. If you are someone suffering from police anxiety and you are stopped or you are accosted or you are detained for any reason, you can drop your location in the app and Peace Watchers will show up and watch over your situation to help ensure some peace or at least be a witness to what is going on with you. So log on to thepeacewatchers.com, sign up, drop your email, download the app, and begin to help one another. This is a black owned company, so we definitely gotta show some more love. And please, if you rock with the show, if you rock with us, log on to thepeacewatches.com, download the app and support. And now, now, right. time to get to the shiznit. Welcome to Big Mondays. Uh, okay, first of all, LTBR course, Daily. I wanna thank everybody dropping props. Ms. Marla, thank you for the props. Uh, four time dub, uh, got some hearts here for CC. So we got prop gang all the way here. We got everybody okay. in the building. Props, y'all. Finally got the opportunity to be at a just LTBR live stream. Yes, you have, Justin. Congrats. Yes, yes. <laughs> all right. So first, we're going to start off the show with a couple announcements. We're going to talk about your controversy. Then we're going to get into some recaps and then some more news over the weekend. Sounds good, everybody? Sounds good. Let's rock. All right. So the biggest right. announcement over the weekend, which we probably were speculating the most, and now we got an official opponent, an official date, Murder Mook versus Tay Rock, October 31st. Ooh. It's going down for the anniversary card. Dracula on Halloween. <laughs> Tay Rock is taking up for Briz. Yeah. He's going to handle business. Here comes the match. Um, Tay know. Rock will have battled Loaded Lux and Murder Mook in some variation on his resume. This is pretty incredible stuff. It's a better battle, says Dietz. According to Smack, it's not a whole anniversary card. Yeah, it never is. There's only one fire match, and then like everything else is really good matches there for the hardcores. Kings and Queens. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Rita, I almost read that one wrong. <laughs> I saw Kings and Queens, Mook versus Rock. I was like, damn. Rita throws shots <laughs> out the gate. But I read that wrong. <laughs> oh, get us canceled. It's, we, it's been four minutes. It's been four minutes since we've been live. Four minutes. <laughs> Oh man! You guys have any picks out there for Mook and Tay Rock off rip? Do you like the match better? Do you have a direction where you're leaning towards? How do you feel about the match? Talk to us, people. Oh, Miss Marla, I'm the only one not happy about the date. I'm planning a kids' Halloween party. <laughs> hey, let the kids watch. Let the kids watch. <laughs> you gonna have Dracula? You good? Miss Marla got Rock winning. I got Rock. Rock two one. Oh, Briz versus Mook, according to Smack and Top, isn't it? Oh, thank you for the canceled. props. Top of the morning salute. Ah, uh, Stevie Gambino. Gambino from the West Coast. What up, homie? Uh, this should be a classic, says Bearded 3000. Still Mook 2 1, but next battle, Tata says, Hey, yo, thank you for the props. Hey, yo. All right, I've seen a lot of rocks in here. I see a lot of people saying they kind of like the match better. Vlad, do you like the match better? And do you have a pick in the, in the race? Definitely got a pick in the race, brother. I'm definitely rolling with Mook. Way too many angles on Tay Rock. I don't care who's dropped what angles yet or who has said what. We haven't heard it until we heard Murder Mook go at this man. And Murder Mook, as we know, man, he's getting all sorts of little knives. He's sharpening them up. He's getting the scalpels. He's getting the surgery light to put over that table. And he is going to go to work on that brother. Now, Tay Rock, we know, we saw him battle in daylight, and yes, he came at another level and he did his thing, but this is going to be another kind of sort of interpersonal match that has things going on, and 
when you add those elements to it and it's not just bars, this becomes a whole other falafel, all right? And I think that Murder Moop is gonna be well prepared for this, especially since he hasn't been able to get his bars off in so long and that brother just wants to that's rap. True. Yeah, that's right a, now, so Tay Rock, man, I hope you fully loaded with all of your guns filled up to the top with one in the head, because Mook is coming for you, my brother. He is coming for you. Okay. So we all know that there is an angle that Mook can go with when it comes to this tranny shit. I'm going to oh. just say this right now. I don't want to hear none of that shit unless I hear some audio. Oh, that's what I'm gonna say because oh. there's been some whispers. There's been some whispers. I ain't gonna say oh. no names, but there's been some whispers that he got the audio. If I don't hear no damn proof, if there is no proof to be told, please leave the tranny angles at home. I feel like I don't want to hear three rounds of tranny angles and how supposedly Rock loves man butt. Like, I don't want to oh. hear that shit. I want just bars. I want aggression. There's a lot more personal that these two can say to one another. I, I'm just going to put it out there right now. I don't want to hear no three rounds of training shit. Like, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I think Mook is too smart for that. I don't think we're going to get that. I'm sorry because we can't say training. I'm still growing, people. LGBTQ+, <laughs> plus, I'm still growing with y'all. So I don't want to. I don't want to hear that. But these two, obviously, everybody knows the background of how these two, two know each other. Rock used to be with the mob, dot mob, and he has moved on to other things. And there has been some tension. There's been a lot of shit talking. I know Rock had a crazy interview last year where he was talking about the chain. I was supposed to leave with this. I was mm. supposed to leave with this. Mm. And, you know, move. How he said it, said it CC? How, 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 how he said it? There's a lot that, that these two can talk about. So I'm just going to say this. Stick to the real personals and Put on the show. Like, can you, I'm can you do it again for, it. for me, please? Can you, can, how, how he did it? How he did it? <laughs> I was supposed to leave with this. <laughs> hey, Cece, I will say this, man. You know, Mook has been known to play audio files before, as he saw as he did with Loaded Lux at, um, at Total Slaughter. You know what I mean? And one thing we know, if there's anyone that's going to come with the audio footage, it's going to be Mook because... Dan Bars is an official member of Dot Mob. And, and they if say he he's care, got the tape. If he ain't gonna play it, I don't care. I hear you on all that too. But I'm saying if there's anyone that can pull up that tape, it is Murder Moog. And we've seen he's used tapes to, you know, get at his opponents before. So everyone's gonna be sitting on the edge of their seats wondering what's going on. If he drops that audio file, Listen, Rock has fought out of everything, everything in the past. He drops that and he has crazy bars. It might be a long night for the brother. I don't care how good that it's Dracula okay, makeup Rock. looks. It's going to be a long night entertain. for that brother. We're not going to entertain a Rock because, like I said, we're going to stick to the real. We're going to talk about what really happened. We're going to talk mm. about facts. We're not going to mm. talk about hyperboles, hypotheses, or none of that BS. <laughs> We're going to keep it straight. To the point, you got a lot of stuff. Because you know what? Mook ain't innocent in all this. I'm pretty sure that there's some angles and there's some things that Rock can speak on to make all of us give him that little... We have a picture of Mook smoking deep. out of somebody's foot. I'm sure there's plenty, of, an I'm sure there's plenty of angles to take on Murder Mook. That yeah, wasn't real, bad. Mook. You was wrong for that one, Mook. But you know what? Hey. There's something, I'm something both you guys, I think, left out that I'm very excited about the most. What's that? Reed's performance out there made me realize the legends, the DVD guys, they're going to look good in this environment. And Tay Rock and Daylight was an arguably battle of the year. So I already can trust Daylight. I can already trust Tay Rock in this environment. And so I feel like there's a lot of tension conversation. I've never seen uh, Mook in front of somebody trying to gun butt him, gun bar him to death, you know, because Verbs is lyrical whirlwinds. Lux is the, trying to decode you. Iron Solomon's trying to decode you, right? But now he's in front of somebody that's going to give him that back to back to back, you know, fucking pistol whip, bar after bar, shoot you here, shoot you there, you know? So I, I, I want to see how Mook kind of- But Rock, I feel like Rock already showed us that he can he can stand in front of a legend and not die. I'm saying Mook's never been gun barbed though. He doesn't oh, battle people. Okay, he doesn't. Sorry. He doesn't. He doesn't battle people that that does gun bars like that. So. Well, he better get ready because he' about to. Can Rock mm. gun bar him he to death? To. He' about to get ready. 
Amen. I'm not going to say that it's going to be a clear win for Mook. I, I know a lot of people are leaning towards Mook because of the angles. Of course, the holding the door open angle. And he, I know he can go crazy with that one. But you know what? I'm telling y'all, don't underestimate Rock. Why we keep underestimating Rock? Hey, we're not underestimating him. But you know, up here at LTBR, we pick clear, decisive winners. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no draws or teeter in the line like that. You feel me? So we got to pick somebody. You got to pick a side to stand on. And is this going to be unlimited rounds? Because five, minutes. Not. five, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Luke will be there until Sunday night going. <laughs> It'd be like, Luke, just stop. Please. Mm -mm -mm. No, All right, let's move on. Uh, more announcements over the weekend. Kings and Queens is also happening, I think, about two, hey, weeks, Mojo. two weeks before the Murder Mook and Tay Rock car. Oh, what's up, Mojo? What's up out there, everybody out there, everybody in the building? We'll do a roll call after this topic. Uh, yes, Kings yes. and Queens, October 17th. So far, no matches announced, but we've seen some fixes in the trailer. We saw DNA. We saw mm -hmm. Vixen. We mm -hmm. saw Rum Nitty. We saw C3. Mm -hmm. Did we see E-Heart? It looked like a little cameo. Yes! I think, yeah, yeah, we did see E-Heart. Yes, yes, yes. It was very quick, though, right? It was very, like... <laughs> she was at the end thugging and bugging. We saw her. Okay, so let's just let's just let's run down the list again one last time. We saw DNA, we saw Rum Nitty, mm -hmm. we saw Vixen, we saw C3, and I guess we saw E Heart. So that's five names already that we've seen. Everybody out there, I, I'm sure matches still haven't been put together. We got a little pool over here, LTBR. We can throw some names in the hat and they might consider 40. it. What do you what, who do you guys want to see on on uh this would definitely be a good return? Read it out for me, guys. E Heart Official fucking up. clips. Dana Ashley, Susanna Black, E Heart, E Heart's definitely on there. Oh, the return of Couture says Miss Marla. The That's names. true. She's coming. Another back. one for Clips. Clips did well versus Farrah, man. People want to see Clips versus a woman again. He, he's Couture says Sue Surf's lawyer. Gaddis. You know the whole card. Oh, Let's hardcore see. flavor. Well, do Gladys share. Later. <laughs> Official versus Av, that would be fire. Bill Collector versus Yoshi G, says Carlson. That'd be interesting. I'm not saying nothing. Why? <laughs> Gaddis, Casey J is fire too. Ver versus, Ver versus Myverse. Myverse. I like that. Hmm. No, oh, Miss Hustle. Man. I agree, hardcore flavor. We do not need her on the card. The card lives on without her. Oh my God. Wait, who? <laughs> Nitty Friends, this is a new week. Friends, friends. <laughs> A new week, and we got other shit to talk about. I keep the energy the same we all the time. No from you, I keep the energy the same all the time. Ooh, this hustle general. being off of a card does not change the value of it. Uh, RX got to be on this card, does she? Francis hate for Miss Hustle is permanent. Francis shade for Miss Hustle is what I like. The same <laughs> energy. Petty Patty says Mojo. What up, Mojo? Coffee versus. Ooh, coffee versus easy. That sounds nice. I like oh, that. I ain't mad at that. I want coffee on the card. Hustle versus Tay Rock would have rocked the building. Well, fun fact. Actually, Tay Rock did say on the 15 Minutes of Fame, or Hip Hop is Real, I should correct myself, interview, he was he was scheduled to battle official, but once he got the moot call, he had to get the X name that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's 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 understandable, right? Like understandable. You, get a call, you get a call from Mooka Lux, you got to cancel all reservations prior. Hopefully they can make it up to official and give her like a real formidable Let opponent, a big name. Yeah, let me ask, let me ask Cece, before, I, before I give you, before y'all give me like that one match I want to see on this, what's one thing in the world that you're going to cancel all reservations for? Is it a person? Is it a certain <laughs> event? Is, is, if one thing comes up, you're like, I'm sorry, I got to cancel. Like, even if, even if it's your white flag, if something pops up, you have to cancel. What would it be? Oh, yeah. Listen, brother. I, well, <laughs> listen, at my stage of the game, if your wife is calling you and the phone is ringing, I don't care where you at, what you doing, what meeting you're in, you got to pick up that damn phone. You know what I'm saying? You got to pick up that damn phone. So you already meet. No, for me, man, it's either wife or kid. If anything pops up, but I'm, I'm saying, sorry, what's, what's the What's the one thing that'll make you say, you know what? I can miss oh, this phone call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, if there's a situation where there is, listen, man, one of the one of the money trucks is rolling by, <laughs> one of the money no, trucks is rolling by, a Brinks truck rolls by, and a couple million dollars falls out of bag and the phone's okay, ringing, okay. I might have to go get that bag. You know money. what I'm saying? I might have to go get that bag and call her right after. You know what I'm saying? 
We're going to open it up underwater. You know what I mean? Make sure that the dye like doesn't affect the paper. And we're going to dry it off, iron it up, and live a very good life together. Low key, that actually happened lives. in Detroit one year. That happened one summer. It happened on like one of the major highways, 75. <laughs> <laughs> and when I I'm tell you, that. and it was during like morning traffic hours, like when people were going to work, when I tell you everybody pulled over to the side <laughs> and they suits and, and work outfits and was just going like this. You damn right. I'm telling you, it's on YouTube. Google that shit. All right, guys. Let's right. stay on right. schedule. Give me, give me one match you want to see on Kings and Queens. Uh, 30 seconds. <sighs> well, it's not going to happen. Like I really was hoping that official. I want. I definitely want to see official on the card. That's my thing. So however y'all can get official, however y'all can get forty on this card, I would I actually just take it. You know what I'm saying? But and E Heart, I I really want to see E Heart go against like one of the best veterans from the guy side. I don't care who it is. I just need E Heart to just beat all these vets' asses. Don't give her no rookie. Don't give E Heart no. Like, not even a mid-tier. I want E-Heart to have only top-tier battles. Yeah, CC, I agree with you, man. Period. I'm rolling with uh, Everything else, I'm cool with. I'll be cool with anything else. Those, I'm those rolling with, things. I'm rolling I'm with E-Heart versus Shine. She's been calling him out for a while. She stepped up her level of performance. The bars has always been there. And I think she that would be... Yeah, I think that'll be a litmus test to really see where the performance, delivery, and bars really are because we know that Shine is a pit bull and he don't play no games. So let's set that up. She's been calling for it. I think Shine okay. will grant her that battle, and I would love to see it. Because I did see her go on IG Live with Lady Caution. Shout out to her. And mm -hmm. um, she did say she wanted Rock. She wanted Rock mm -hmm. and Nitty. Those mm -hmm. were the two names I heard her call out. When I was watching that uh, IG live with them two ladies, so that's a good one. I I, I could see Shine and I she won she won Nitty. She said she will smoke Nitty. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's move on, y'all. All right, this <laughs> what is what, <laughs> this is what this is what everybody's been waiting for. So I'm gonna let the people out there speak Ooh. their piece. I'm let the people speak. This is for you guys. I want all of you guys to tell us how you feel. All right. Thank you for the prop, Augie. Thank you for the prop, Augie. Disaster versus frack controversy. I'm sure all y'all saw it. If some of y'all missed it, I know y'all know somebody that helped y'all seen it. All right, we can all keep it real. <laughs> the tooth's in the building, and if you if you don't got it, just DM the tooth and ask dun, him for dun, it. All right? dun, dun, dun. Just ask him for it. He'll give it to you. He's the dun, plug. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, he's the plug and the outlet. All right. <laughs> but moving on. Everybody out there, how would you guys feel about disaster and frack? Let's read it out there. Frack had the haymaker of the year. Period. King of the Dot judges some hoes. Don't nobody the, the fix is in this. Judge, ruin your ruin your, ruin your tournament. Frack Hoffa. Uh, this is the chat going crazy. I hear D Danny talking about it on Twitter. It's, it's all fucked up. King of the Dot had questionable judging for years. Rita said it's the ghetto. Queen of the Ooh. Ring is not good for battle rap. Oh. Hmm? Well, that was left field. What happened? <laughs> I won't read it again. I'm surprised I'm always uh, slandering that other world Diz, for a reason. Dr. Oh, Dr. Diz Seuss. Wow. Diz Seuss. Looks like tournament don't matter after this. Oh. Frank I second mean, and third. If this how we come do it. <laughs> Seuss or Who player. Like Rita, we apologize. I'll watch it when I want to watch it. If oh, man. Little Reggie. Pat Kado's up. I picked Frack in my predictions. He was robbed since this K Dose model. is the homie, but K Dose, my guy, what? K Dose. Mm, mm, a tie? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Just Rita, one tie, two ties. So two ties. Oh, man, that was a mess. For 50K man. on the line, we can't have no ties. Mm, mm, not with mm. 50K on the line. There is not a tie in this shit. Like, giving out ties they all gave night. this the third one. Uh, this didn't choke in the third. He definitely ended it short, though. Let's let's make sure we get it accurate. He didn't end it any ties? of his rounds clean or good. Um, very close battle. Two one three zero. Oh. I accept the apology. Rita says, I accept your apology. Well, Rita, I still don't accept your apology for calling Brooklyn Hands Lauren Hill. It's still, that's still something to talk about. You're still not all, all the way off the hook, but the heat is off you for now. I'll tell you that. You are ghetto and Aggie as fuck. You are ghetto, friends. You no, are so ghetto. Is. You know what, Rita? Go go for his neck, girl. Just go for his neck. Go for his neck. She so said it. Sure. She said it, not I. She said it. Go for his neck, girl. Go for him. 
Oh, DNA and Smack sent you here? All right, Syndicate Group. Oh, appreciate that, DNA. Right. The champ, man. That's what up, champ? champ? Shout out to the and champ. And Uncle Smizzle, appreciate that, man. Hi, Uncle Smack. Hi, All right. Um, you know, we got to talk some business, though, because, you know, I, wanna, I was trying to do a win. <laughs> and we we talked about it in Cleveland last year, but you know you've been kind of MIA, but that's okay, player. I know you busy. <laughs> um, we're not we're not gonna talk about the whole <laughs> event. Um, but I'll say this: Where about, is the boulet? I'll say this about the battle. Um, our first watch is very hard to agree with that decision, and I mean, there is a world right where he lost a poll 76 to 24 percent there is a world where that 24 percent could have all been in the room there is a world where all of us online feel completely different than the people enraged with all that energy in that room there is a world for that it's the explanation that mm -hmm. they rub everybody wrong and it everybody feels like it was engineered and in my opinion i think king of the dies engineered a handful of decisions in the past that's my conspiracy but if you want to engineer decisions just dress it up nice that's all i'm saying just dress it up. Just wait, dress wait, 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 wait. You said that it's the explanation. So if they actually had an explanation saying that I just feel that A, B, C, D bars were better than what he did, you would have been okay with the decision? I would have been more comfortable than hearing two people give a tie. One person I want to give a decision. That's all I'm saying. I would have felt way more comfortable with that. Because I want to say this. We all probably have Frank winning. Disaster was not bad. Don't forget that. He was not bad. It's not like he was terrible, all right? So I can see a world where it's like he gets one of those rounds. It's not a 30, in my opinion, on either side. Genuinely, it's not a 30 on either side, but the, it's, the, it's the poor explanation that hurts. I mean, most. Cece, you know, they had Danny Myers losing 4-0, and people disagreed with that, you know? But the explanations, you could at least go, you know what, even though I don't agree, at least you gave me real reasons why I could say, okay, this is how you feel. I just completely don't agree with Wait. you, but I can hear you out. Well. Before, you before, ties, before, C yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I was gonna say, before you What's throw up? to CC, I want to throw out a quick number. This is the third judge battle so far this year where the fan vote has it different than how the panel has it. So like the panel has a unanimous decision and the fan vote has a completely opposite. Fonz and Easy, Holmesy and Danny. Now this battle, no one's ever gonna feel good when the fan vote is so different and they don't even get one vote from the judges. No one's That's ever gonna feel fact. good about that. That is a whole fact. Now, you know, for me personally- Wait, let, let, let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, go ahead, yeah. CC. I, like, wait, I don't give a, I don't care what explanation they would have came across for me. It, it would not have made it any better in my, in my opinion. Anybody that could understand what the fuck battle rap is, they can understand what a setup is. They can understand what an angle is, what a bar is, what a punch is, and tie that all up together with performance and having battle rap IQ like Frank, Frank had, knowing Thank you. that Thank you, this was going to split that piece of paper he had in half and came back with it. Like, bruh, this, Frank did so much more than Diz in that battle. I don't care what y'all thought it was supposed to be. He was supposed to win that battle and that's on period. There is no explanation besides that this was a fix and or if it wasn't a fix, then y'all definitely knelt and tucked your dicks between your legs because y'all was scared of Diz. Y'all was scared to tell Diz that he lost that damn battle. And y'all did it for business so y'all could keep that man in this battle for, for the coin. Y'all did not want, that's all it is. So either this was a setup or y'all some scary guys. What is it? Y'all tell me what it is. That's the only two, that's the only two explanations there is. Y'all scared Yikes. or y'all just following with business? I want to I wanna say this, Period. silver lining, silver lining. We've already been through this with Ultimate Madness, so we know one thing's for sure. The people's champ, like everybody has somebody getting jerked or robbed, their stock goes through the roof. And Frack said it in his post-game interview. I don't know if he was halfway serious or he was playing around. He said, this is the best possible scenario where I beat disaster, everybody loves me, and I don't have to keep going through this tournament because I don't have the endurance for it. You know, like he, yeah, and he also said battle rap was a hobby, and I'd much rather be doing my rapping and my uh, skits. It don't matter. None of that matters. No, I'm saying, I'm saying like if yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. saying that. Him saying that. I don't know if he was all the way serious, if he was joking. Uh, you know, he probably was trying to say face, and he was trying, probably trying to be professional. 
about it, but that's okay because I'll be ghetto and I'll be ratchet for you, Frack. Because I'm not gonna hold you up. Because I, I see a lot of people saying, "Well, I didn't know him before this." That shouldn't be your reason why that he wins or loses a battle. It's about what did he do at the moment? What did he do for three rounds? And me personally, I don't really care for Frack as a battle rapper. When I put together my top battle rap list, he ain't in there, and I, he not really one that I think about. That's just me wow. personally. That okay, but I ain't no hating ass bitch. He beat Diz hands down, no debate. I like y'all gotta stop with this favoritism. This is not a popularity contest. We have to talk about the content that two people said in a battle. And Frack did a way better job than Diz. Diz was not even clean. There was times he was stumbling. You couldn't even understand what the hell he was saying. And he like, bro, no, we're not about to do this. We're not about to do this. We're not about to do this. Uh uh. Say go CC, go CC. Go. That's what it was. It was business, Project Rico. It was business. It was about they can't let their biggest star leave the first round. That's what it was. Okay. And and shout out to that. just my opinion because he showed that how one of the judges is actually friends, really good friends with Diz. And he was the guy that was holding up that picture of math when Diz and Math was battling. And some people were saying was also throwing uh punches during the fight. So I don't even understand how y'all can even allow that man to even be a judge on any of this. Like, that don't make no sense, bro. Like, this guy jumping into fights for Diz and y'all got him judging his battles? What you think he gonna vote for? One thing, one thing, the no damn sense. One thing that's certain, um, judging controversy lives on forever at this point. Like, that's, that's a proven. Like, we were complaining so much with Ultimate Madness in the past, one and two, right? We were mad, met the man, wasn't watching battles, even though he got, <laughs> he got bailed out because everybody had clear wins that day. Um, there's, there's a lot of different decisions that people didn't like over the past uh, three, two, two, three months. I will say this. They have three other regions to get this right, right? They still got the South, North, and the East. They got three other chances to get this right, and that West Coast panel – I don't feel comfortable with it. That's just my opinion. So whether they switch it moving forward, that's on them. But I will say there's not a good start off to the foot. But, I mean, for them, technically, it's good for business, right? They, 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 everybody's talking about Everybody's talking about it. The biggest star stays in. They're happy, right? Hey, for, hey, to put a bow on it, Frack, listen, Chilla Jones got robbed twice, and now he is in contention for Battle of the Year, Champion of the Year. So – if that means anything, maybe this is just the start of a really good thing for you, brother. So take it that way. I, I will say Frack has a lot of momentum. Everybody will be tuned in to the next time Frack battles again. I wouldn't necessarily cancel the, the tournament out because Chef Trez is battling this weekend. I'm supporting anything Chef Trez does. Me too. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, one more announcement. Maybe I hope that was Frack that they did that too. Because if it was somebody else, if that was a URL battle, it would have been. They would have locked the doors of that fucking venue, wherever the fuck they was. For 50K, they would have locked them damn doors. Ain't nobody. Salute, left. Reggie. Salute. Chef Trez is whack. What? Watch your mouth, man. Chill. <laughs> Chef Trez. <laughs> and listen, next week, all the brothers, all the people on the card are brothers. All the battles are brothers. <laughs> direct is going to hold it down. I trust Direct. I trust I trust Chef Trez. All right? I trust Clone. I trust everybody I'm going to see next Sunday. Um, more, one more announcement before we get into the Summer Madness X recap. Reed Dolls versus O-Red was announced. Philly versus Jersey. I believe it's going to be in Philly. What do you guys think about Reed Dollars versus O-Red? Oh, let's take it to the chat. Yo, I got, oh, I got to apologize, Philly. <laughs> 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 I, just got, I think we all I do, switch man. It up. I got to go back to be a humble CC. Because... Where's my, where's my Reed 30 says level skills. Reed leveling up. Reed. I'm not speaking on Reed no more, says Sue Surf Lawyer. <laughs> Yo, Reed. Sue Surf Lawyer. I remember what you said. <laughs> Reed 2-1. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Red 2-1 says JP runs this. <laughs> I think the battle holds no value. Wow. Damn. All right, All right SD. Red 3-0. Says DNA. All red is due for a choke. Damn. Oh man. Damn. <laughs> we doing it like that. Damn. All red I, not gonna play. All red three zero clearly. Did you not just see what happened on Saturday? Mm -mm -mm. Damn. I guess it'll be an overreaction on both sides, right? To discount Reed mm -hmm. and still give it a red, and then to be on Reed's bandwagon and be like Reed's gonna beat red. So it's an overreaction on both sides. You just just gotta pick a side. That's a fact. That's a fact. 
I mean, I Justin, I hear you. The shock value, yes, because but we can't we can't do that to Reed, bro. He definitely beat Nitty on Saturday, bro. I gotta apologize. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we all eating game. crow. We gotta surrender, y'all. All right, I'm I'm actually gonna let Cece <laughs> set it off since she has to apologize. I both got apologies to make. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not often you get a woman to apologize when they're wrong, right, Vlad? Oh, <laughs> not <We're>, verbally. <laughs> it's like it's like an eighty twenty. It's like an eighty twenty split, right? If that, not verbally, brother. Eighty five fifteen. Nah. They I might, can't lie. They might cook you, you know something what? crazy, try to buy you something, try to persuade you in other fashions, you know what I'm saying? They'd be like, I'm sorry you acted that way. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but go ahead. Go ahead, CC. Set it off. Damn. Y'all know, you know, shout out to Bootleg Gang, but I've watched <laughs> Nitty. Really? Really? <laughs> That's what we doing here? <laughs> I know. That's signal in the air, and I get DMs. You know, that, they, we know oh, we're going to but um, yo, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I watched that battle three times, and I have struggled. I have struggled to find. I was doing the Ben Swayze for Cortez after Core and Easy. That's how I felt. I was watching that shit. I had that note. Thank you for the prop. Like, I was really keeping score. Is I can't. I can't do it. I give it to Reed. I definitely give it to Reed. Reed. I don't know who he sparred with before this battle. I don't know who he talked to. I don't know what God he prayed to. I don't know how he meditated before the battle. But whatever <laughs> he did, keep doing it. Because that was that was probably his best showing. That that was definitely his best showing. And he, yo, he surprised me. He surprised me. I really was sitting back like, is he doing this to Nitty? And I'm just like, come on, Nitty, fight back. Yo. And I don't know what happened to Nitty. I don't know if he took it easy because he didn't think this was the read we was going to see. I feel like he was kind of punching for reaction. Mm. And some of his punches, I was just kind of like. Mm -hmm. I want to say this, man. First and foremost, first and foremost, I want to apologize to Fareed the man, all right, and Reed Dollars, the rapper. My most sincerest and humblest apologies. I did not my have you is. having a chance to win this battle. I slandered you. I dragged you. I threw your name in the mud, even though I you've been too. here for 20. Mm. And I apologize, brother, all I right? Apologize. You know, I'm sure there's some people out there, you know, with the, with the tax time visor on, the magnifying glass and the overhead light, reading the lyrics going, oh, well, you know, if you go bar for bar, <laughs> well, Nitty really beat him when you really look at it. Bro, that's Listen, how I was on Sunday. Other than, other, other than that yes, level scales, angle you did in tell particular, us. other than that angle in particular, Fareed did everything better than Rum Nitty that night from his performance, to his aggression, to his delivery, even the way he was playing the camera angles, the way he was walking around, making everybody else realize what he's doing. And that little crowd, he worked the crowd also that was there. Like, he had Dre doing the little, the little Oh, Dre doing it. Dre doing like a penguin. Dre, what is this, Dre? Dre was like, oh my. <laughs> well, I was sitting at home like, and look, Reed, Reed winning felt Reed, Reed winning felt like watching a three one comeback in the playoffs, right? <laughs> Yo, you ain't lying, man. Nah, man, but Reed was on it though. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the Reed, props. Thank you, thank you. Reed was definitely on it, and he did the damn thing, man. Like I said, if you want to go on paper, but battles are not judged on paper; they're judged by what actually happens in that ring. And yo, Reed didn't have no slip ups. He didn't have nothing. He was direct. He brought that you some of that nostalgia also, line. but he was on point, man. And Rum, I'm sorry, brother. You took a loss. You took a straight up L. Like, uh, I'm not he trying know to. He know he did. He know he, he should know he, he know did. He, I can tell when Nini knows he lost. I can oh. tell. He He'd be like, good lost. shit, bro. I'm going to put a ribbon on it. Like, <laughs> don't even give me a good I don't care what anybody said. I got a legend on my resume. I was like, 
That's the, the, the surf rollout. I mean, I mean, you know, you, you get somebody like Lux on your resume, you know, what's somebody going to tell you? All right, you know so I'm, 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 I'm going to put a ribbon on your leg. It's two things. This is Rebnetti's second legend play in a small room. You can argue he lost them both. So that's, uh, right? That's a little. Uh. But, I, but here's the positive. This is, might be his second loss of the year. Him and Beat out both, uh, Redouts and Beat out both beat Rebnetti, but they were immaculate. They were excellent. They were great. They rose to the occasion to beat a rum nitty. That speaks extreme value from rum nitty. And it also shows what these guys could do when they push their peak, when they push their ceiling. So salute to Reed for being able to push the ceiling that way. Um, his stock is up. I have no doubts that there's going to be a high demand to see him back in the bubble in this mm -hmm. environment against a really specifically tailored matched opponent to compliment him. So I love it. And I mean, at the end of the day, like, what we said, the bubble has turned battle rap into rap battles. Reed Dallas mm. can rap. So when he said, yeah, this summer man is 10, but I've been here for 20. Like, I, mm. felt, I felt that. I felt mm -hmm. that. Because, like, the Oakland A's freestyle, the flows, he's always had flows. And speaking of flows, we have a sponsor that just specializes all of in flows. Right, Vlad? That's right, man. Salute to our sponsor, MC War. MC War is one of the original leagues that brought you the battles on beats. But they got a twist to it. It's two rounds on instrumentals, one round acapella. So you get to see the MCs perform under both circumstances. They've had K Shine in the past, Matt Hoffa, John John Don, the list goes on. They have an event coming up soon. The first match on the card that has been announced is Chef Trez versus Reggie P. You know Reggie P from spitting lyrics with the game. He's been in the he's been in the game for a minute. And we all know Chef Trez, Mr. Three of them things, one of the greatest freestylers and rebuttalers in battle rap. And let me tell y'all, man. The other matches on the card and the names that are on the card is something that you are going to want to get as soon as they give us the green light to let you know who is on the card. We will definitely let you know, but it's going to be something that you are going to want to cop. So salute to MC War. Sign on to their Twitter, log on to their IG, and log on to their webpage and support MC War. Now, France, back to the show, brother. All right, man. So what other uh, Summer Madness matches we got to talk about? You know, let's get this one out the way um, because I know you guys have a lot of bullshit to say about this one. <laughs> let's talk about Geechee Gotti versus Charlie Clips. It was a pretty Ooh. fun, entertaining match. What do you guys out there think? Interessante. Then we're going to get into B-Lot and T-Type afterwards because I've seen a lot of questions about that too. Clips 2-1, says Ty Ty. Ooh, Miss Marla, Geechee 2-1, Sue Surf Lawyer, Geechee 2-1. Geechee 40 says CA Low. What up, West Coast? What up, West Coast? People let Clips win on a choke. Mm. Nah. Geechee 2 1. Geechee no, 40 not. says Snoop CK. What up, West Coast? <laughs> what up, <laughs> Clips had the waviest choke of all time, says Flyboy Wave. It was a beautifully dressed choke. Geechee 2 1. We're not going to give him that. I'm East Coast. All right, my bad player, my bad player. Geechee 2 1 or 3 0 says JP run this. Geechee lack of clips choke recovery sealed the day. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Clips flipped the choked. He's the greatest. All right, man. Oh, I wanna, we're going to talk this. about it, though. We're definitely going to talk about this. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it's a lot of mixed. Uh, feedback and responses. Even when I asked a question on my personal uh, social media pages, I got mixed responses. Are you guys ready? Last so. season, before, before I throw it to you guys, I'm going to read this out to you guys, all right? I'm going to read go. this to the audience, too. <laughs> Battle Rap Dictionary from Battle Rap Wiki page, the fandom page created by uh, Battle Rap fans. The definition of a choke, I'm going to read it out to you guys and let you know if you agree or disagree. A choke, verb, running out of rap lines prematurely or forgetting prepared bars and failing to freestyle fluidly. I mean, listen, brother, that's Keep one. the same energy. That's one person's definition. And I don't know, man, if you're going by that definition, technically it's not a choke. But we got to keep it real, man. In France, when I was watching this, you know, I may have been, you know what I'm saying, a little altered, you know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, is Clips choking right now? Is he acting? Then he freestyled out of it. So for a split second, I'm kind of like, yo, I'm, I'm not I don't think I, he choked. Look, I'm not saying I agree with the definition, but I will say, can't you at some point, maybe not this example, it wasn't a good example, but in general, can't you freestyle once you're about to choke to get out no, of that No, you definitely bag? can, but this was not the example that I would put 
you know what I'm saying, as the example of wiggling your way out of a choke. Like, no, oh, it's a choke. Mm. Let me, let me, let, let's, let's get that clear. Hold on, hold on. Let's get that all the I way clear. Having a heart attack or a panic attack. <laughs> to make, let's, to, let's, 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 let's make sure no one un- miss. This is a choke. This is a choke. Okay, okay. He lost the battle. Right. He won the polls, which he shouldn't have because he was more entertaining. He lost the battle. But that bit of entertainment was the clip, right? It's the clip that went viral. Absolutely. CC. Yeah. Okay, so I will say this. I do appreciate that Charlie Cliffs did not just say time or jersey, the round. I will say that. So let me start off by saying that because we always be so quick to tear down the ballers who choke and just be like, oh, fuck it, time. You know what I'm saying? Cliffs understood that he could not, number one, do that against Geechee and on Summer Madness mm-hmm. with everybody watching. So he, if he took the time he needed to figure out what he was going to do. He walked around the room and did the freestyle. However, in my eyes, it's still a choke. In my eyes, we cannot give him that round. Because if that's how we're going to play this, now we have to go back in time. We got to take a little time travel journey together, ladies and gentlemen. And we got to start. I know somebody brought it up. So then we got to give Nitty the win mm. against Shine. Because mm. we all know how to, like, now we got to go, now we got to backtrack. We're not about to start changing the rules up because we have our favorites. I agree. Okay? I agree. We have to stop changing the rules for our favorites. We have to keep that same energy, okay? So I appreciate that he didn't just time or jersey. However, I'm not giving him that round. Mm. No, no. Oh, if, he, if, I didn't see, if I didn't see clips stumble early prior to that, I would have been like, maybe this was all an act because the John John part of the freestyle made me believe it was some wild and out sketch joint. So mm-hmm. he, he could have lied to me at that moment. <laughs> I would have believed it. But because I seen him stumbling prior, I knew he didn't have it all the way down pat. No, absolutely, man. And this battle, yo, I had to keep the same energy. We all know France and I had this bet going on for, for Rum Nitty and K-Shine. And K-Shine was on his way to victory you feel me? And he was about to beat, oh, yo, Rum Nitty was about to beat K-Shine and he choked and it got me the victory. Charlie Clips was that on was his, there. Charlie Clips was on his way to a victory. He was going to get a clear 2-1 versus Geechee for me, but because he choked, I have to keep that same energy. If I kept that energy for Rum, I got to keep it for Clips. You know, salute yes. to you for not Harleming out of that situation. Yes. But at the end of the day, buddy, you choke, and we hey. gotta keep we gotta keep the sport honest. You know, I'm what saying this we though. gotta keep it honest. We, while we're keeping it honest and get you one, can we give Clips his flowers? Seventy plus battles in his career, mm-hmm. way past his peak on television, still actively uh, in the ring. Because I will say this: his content felt dry, but his effort was a hundred percent there. His charisma was there. Like energy wise, he was there. He just could, doesn't have the hops no more to dunk. Yeah, he was definitely more entertaining. And, you know, we got to keep it real. Outside of that, that second round was the Geechee Gotti that I will pay pay pay-per-view money to watch. That intensity that he brought, the aggression that he brought, the bars that he brought, the disrespect that he brought, this is why we watch battle rap. The guy in the first and the third round, that's like the brother who just got him a Tesla and put it on autopilot and let him drive him home. You know what I mean? And... Geechee, you're the man. You are the two-time champ. We respect you. You've given us moments. You've had an incredible, incredible, incredible run. But that second round is what we are willing to pay for. And you got to bring that back or take a little break, brother, because Charlie Clips is clearly on his way to winning that battle to me, man. Charlie Clips is definitely in a way on on his road to winning that battle. Y'all don't deserve my Geechee no more. You know so you, what? You I were totally like satisfied Gucci, with the first and the third. I feel like, you know, I just feel like, you know, no, I'm not. I'm not saying it directly to you, Vlad, but I just okay. see a lot of comments. I've been seeing a lot of Geechee slander since mm-hmm. the battle, and I just feel like Geechee got a lot of people pressed because he's been on this three, four year run, killing all y'all faves, and y'all tired, and y'all just trying. This is for the people who are, who are definitely trying to get clips that third round. Y'all just so bad. <laughs> y'all so fresh about Geechee. Y'all, every time y'all see Geechee on the car, y'all go, oh, again. Y'all don't deserve him. Y'all don't deserve him. Y'all don't deserve him. It's okay, Geechee. We know who won. I'll say this. Before we, ooh, before we move on to a, uh, our next battle, this might be statistically Geechee got his third loss in a row on the app when it drops. 
Mm-hmm. So there goes. This is interesting. Because this is interesting. I feel like this is a little heard. shift. In, this is a little <laughs> shift in the. It's time for us to hate Geechee Guy. We all saw it coming, right? Everybody saw it coming. Where, I told y'all. I was like, I'm waiting on the day. And he I was on top for too Gigi. long. Pause. I remember I tweeted Geechee this a while ago, and he was like, I'm waiting. That one was on crazy. Like, he knew that, that. He knew this day was coming. Y'all was gonna turn on him. <laughs> Y'all was gonna be like, man, cuz, we tired of seeing cuz. We don't want cuz on the card. He do the same thing all the time. I'm tired of hearing from him. I'm tired of what he be saying. It's happening. Listen, I, hey, hold on. Everybody's jumping our chat admin. What what what, what did the chat what, admin what say? Happened, what happened? Say he's doing drugs. They say who's running this account? What? What's going on? What's going on? Am I going for people? What what happened? What happened? Chess two one. I said what I said. Says oh, oh man! Oh brother! All right, oh, we'll, we'll, brother. Get, we'll, get, we'll get to that next. We'll get to Shut that next. The admin down. Glad, glad, glad. Let's let's do a roll call. Oh, we we get to be out of We gonna put a, a job posting. Oh uh, man! For Monday. <laughs> Anybody want wants to do this an admin job? <laughs> Yo, man, Let's first and call. foremost, man, salute to everyone who is in the chat right now. If you can, please Boston. so kindly. Share this broadcast and also let me know where you're from. This is the LTBR Daily ro- bro- uh, Roll Call. What city, what state, what country are you from? What's your background? Boston, What's your Philly. set? Represent for everybody right now. We want to know who's in tune Baltimore, with us. Baltimore, Tampa shit. <laughs> Dark side, Delaware, Kansas okay. City, Missouri, Miami, Philly. Liberty City, Serbia. Oh, Liberty Ser- City. Serbia in the building, Winnipeg. Hope and Dean Projects. ATL, Overtown, Shawty. all that. A lot of Philly in the Columbus. building. Chicago, Kansas City, Kansas. Oh, Brooklyn, Vlad. There goes Brooklyn for you. Oh, Brooklyn in the house. Yay area. Arkansas, Long Island, North Carolina, Jersey. North Kakalaka, Jersey. Istanbul. <laughs> Istanbul, but not Constantinople. And we're all over the place. Mr. Worldwide. Southside Queens. <laughs> Shine Sorcery worked on y'all. Wait till y'all watch it. I'll wait for my apology. Oh, man. You ain't getting no apology from me, player. Oh, man. We got the you whole ain't world no in the apology. building, man. No, we appreciate y'all sharing that broadcast that's also. That's the only person I've been, I'm going to apologize today. Louisville, Kentucky yeah. in the house. Word, man. All right, well, uh, let's let's keep it rolling now. Uh, beat out in T top, which I think was the battle and of the night. On November third, mm-hmm. yeah. T top beat out. What do you guys think out there about T top and beat out? T top two one. And watch this T top three zero. Not surprising. Ooh, not surprising. Uh, apologies. <laughs> beat out three zero says level scales. No debate. I'm I'm just Anwar kidding, says just Anwar. Kidding. Or it's too late. But somebody screenshot it already. <laughs> you, you can't psych. I lie this time. <laughs> That's the weirdest joke ever. <laughs> I was I thought he had a panic attack or something was going on with him. <laughs> T top two one. I was concerned. I B-Dot thought he was, was about to take amazing. a shit. That he was just trying to like B-Dot hold it. <laughs> okay, guys. He got had the best birthday gift. He got a summer madness win. Be that gentleman's thirty. Top to said donate boop. to Dr. Umar. School. I will. Yeah, I will say do, donate to Dr. Umar school. Yeah, and then also this cool. weird. He had this weird angle about beat. I was like, you're too pro black. Like you know what? I didn't mind that. I didn't. I found the comedy aspect in that. That one I did not mind. That was funny to me. But the and the whole ancestors thing before he does everything it cracked me up. T top T top T top T top talk T top talk all about being too pro black just to ultimately say he doesn't trust his family. Why would I trust the family I can't see if I can't trust the one I'm with? What, what what's going on with your family, T top? Uh, hello, he had fiends in his family. You can't trust fiends in your family. You crazy. serving them? That ain't my motherfucking problem. Yo, he got his stash at the crib and the stash is coming up light every week. You can't trust them people. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, the, bar, the bars work really good. This the bars work. I don't know what research he was looking up, but uh, can I just say this? Can y'all please stop giving y'all money to Umar Johnson and stop calling him a doctor because he is not a doctor. He is not an official licensed doctor. Can we please get our acts together, black people? He is a doctor <laughs> of comedy because every time I Donations. see him on the timeline. <laughs> Donations. <laughs> Gifts. Gifts. <laughs> Gifts. Why do you need the white man's paperwork? You know what I mean? Dr. Umar's a trip, man. He makes me laugh, yo. Lord have mercy. God in heaven. He makes Why me laugh. do you need white man paperwork? LTBR <laughs> Daily is for Africans only. 
Oh, you Europeans, get out of here. Get out of here. Africans only. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to leave. Oh, well, only half of you, Cece. You can tell yeah, half I don't know how I'm going to pull that one off. <laughs> I guess only half of me can stay here. Mm. All right, so Cece, <laughs> glad. I'm going to throw it to you guys. T-Top and B-Dot, what you guys think of it? Oh, man, Cece. Yes. Oh, okay. oh, want me to go first? I already said I kind of gave it away. Like I feel that you know, I know a lot of people were afraid what B Dot was gonna do on the big stage, Summer Madness. He finally got on Summer Madness, so that was a victory, small victory. But now he had to beat T Top, and I felt like for him to honestly get the credit he deserves and to really boost him up, he had to beat T Top clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I believe that he did so. I felt like we talked about, I felt like some of them angles that T-Top tried, it didn't Thank really you, hit, Hamster. even Thank though you. I understood what he was trying to do, it didn't hit. And you know what, B-Dot, I'm telling you, he's probably one of the best rappers on that on, on the lineup. He is one, he's one of my favorite rappers outside of bad rap, but he, his pen is so crazy. He just had me in awe where he went. And he, he, actually, he was rebuttaling, like he did his motherfucking thing. He had the aggression. He was talking the top. It was just, I mean, how can I not give this to B Dot? Yeah. He did his motherfucking thing. Word. I mean, uh, Bootleg Gang did not respond to my bat signal. So I was only able to watch this battle one time. Off the one time that I watched it, I got it down as a preference battle, man. I love B Dot's pen. I love the intricacy. I love the wordplay. I love the angles that he came with. But then T-Top, with his entertainment, with the comedy, with his poise, with his pacing, with his ability to play the crowd, he made me feel like I was watching a big stage battle all over again. And he definitely had that edge when it came to that aspect. So altogether, these guys gave me a perfect battle that I could be looking for with two definitely distinct styles. Now, we ain't gonna do the KOGD thing, because if I have to pick a winner, absolutely, T-Top, you and this Dr. Umar Angle, brother. <laughs> like that, that, one, yeah. that, that might have, because if, if everything is a razor's edge, that will sway me to pick B-Dot in this battle. I do want to see it one more time to just definitively pick a I winner. But that whole Dr. Umar thing, man, that, that was wild, brother. Watching it, I was like, I don't know where he's going with this. He might have, he should have saved that one in the tuck. But so fantastic one, battle, man. Preference yeah. battle. B dot, my bad. That's another thing, Muscle Hamster. B dot was working that motherfucking camera. We just gave Reed credit for that. That mm. was the same thing with B dot. B dot was working that motherfucking camera. He look. He just it just was on some top tier shit. Like he went crazy in that room. A lot went of guys. Crazy. A lot of guys look very comfortable under caffeine. Comfortable. Debut. Get that's, comfortable. That's, that's what Did you guys notice in the first round when T-Top was rapping about like him not being able to be a football player, be successful? T-Top had this little smirk in his face. Like he had a little smirk while he was rapping. And it's almost like, oh yeah, this material is not enough to be what I have. Because like people, I mean People debate every round, and I, I'll agree that Dr. Umar Johnson, like, T-Top executes angles perfectly. But when you say the angle out loud, you're like, wait, why am I dissing somebody for being too pro-black? Why am I dissing somebody for getting a scholarship to go play football? Like, why am I No, it's not. It's, you're not dissing him for getting the scholarship. Yes. You're dissing this scholar, this educated brother, he couldn't losing get it grade. because of his yeah. grades. Like, yeah. clearly now, he's That was smart. the angle I was right. fucking with because... Clearly, he's smart. I went to Michigan State, and I know, I know a lot of them players, them ball players, mm. that were horrible in class, but they they got that full ride scholarship. Cuban and they in the really, building, shout out to Cuban. They didn't really put them. They didn't use all their potential in the classroom. They were only worried about. I got that angle. I, I was like, okay, I see where you're going with it. It was my favorite out of the okay. three. But I, I can see right. I can see where you can poke the holes in it in real in, re, in real life time. You know what I'm saying? In battle rap it works, right? In battle rap, it's that's what, yeah. And you battle know what the the, the yeah. other thing that I did like from T Top also is when he was saying if you clearly want, you know, to be the conscious route and have everyone follow you also, you gotta drop the gang thing. You know, you And everybody you, used that angle. Right, though. no, 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 but he didn't he no no, but he didn't go he didn't go extra, he didn't go crazy with that saying, How could you be busting guns and doing this? He's saying in order to complete it, like someone claiming a gang all the time, because let's keep it real. Yeah, you have brothers who evolve this, that, and the third. But when you think gang, you don't think anything positive. You just think drug dealing, killing, 
messing up the community. I get it. You know, they do positive things also that we may not see. But on a surface level, nothing positive about being in a gang. It's either jail or death. Now, the circumstances which people join gangs, we can talk about that all day long. We know that there's a bigger picture behind that as to right. why people join. But I hear what he's saying. If he's like, yo, BDOT says, yo, I'm no longer, you know, representing this or anything like that. I'm strictly this way. Like, I, I didn't mind that angle because he didn't play it the way that everyone else usually plays it. He put a little different twist to it. So I didn't mind that from T-Top. Like, I, I'm just so tired of hearing those bar And the looks compared, like, you just a clone. It's like, okay, bro, like, what else? What else? A lot of similarities still. God damn, you that in the every, movements here and there. Y'all do that all the time. Y'all say, like, y'all don't like when people just keep reusing the same angles all the time. Well, this is a, that's an angle that everybody has for me, that, and it's just like, and I can see it when T-Top said it, he was just like, okay, what the fuck else, bro? Like, I'm so tired of hearing My, this shit. I, what I, else? I think the only criticism I would have to, for B dot is just um, sometimes I can get drawn out because all three of his rounds will sound the same at some point. Mm -hmm. and then it'll be one line that reels me back in. I wonder if he can find a way to break up sounding the same every round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about K-Shine and Chess. Mm. Woo! Yow! It's the battle I want to talk about, friends. Where's Tata? Because Tata... Mr. Yeah, France, do you, front row. do you have an apology <laughs> for my main, my main, my main, my main man, K-Shan? You had a lot to say over the past few weeks. The cherry picking, the setting up his own schedule on the playback. People just don't like his material that much. It's not that great. Oh, what do you have to say now after this battle, friends? What do you have to say, brother? k Shine knows how to win. He knows how to complete the objective. And um, all of the things that he takes advantage of on the stage, which was stripped away, did not stop his level of performance, did not stop his level of execution. Mm -hmm. He was on one. Mm -hmm. Completed the and let's not leave out the bars either, friends. Let's not leave out the bars. Don't do that. You got to apologize. I apologize to Reed. You I apologize to Fareed. I apologize. I mean, no, no, say, okay. say, Sean, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, well, what, what do you want me to apologize for? For everything I said that was true is true. And he whooped on your boy from the Bronx, buddy. <laughs> you was you was dragging that man. Like, yeah, I know I cheated on you, but I mean, we really wasn't together, though. Look, Get I can I can I can apologize for underestimating. I can apologize for underestimating what he would have brought that day because I was really interested to see what no bubble case shine looked like. But I'm not gonna apologize for everything in the past. It's the truth. He's 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 lost a lot of these battles on camera. People have him losing on the app. But all these battles that we have him winning, people have him losing online. That's that's not a that's not a lie. That's some haters on that app, man. Oh, NWX was gassing. I saw y'all trying to say NWX was gassing for this battle, Hold and on. it ain't work. Can I, let's go through some of the people here. I see a lot of chess one and third in here. This is strange. There's a look. Oh, I man. I thought it was Tata. <laughs> Hold your ground, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I don't vote on the app, so I don't know how much state to put in those numbers. I don't vote either, man. I don't feel like the gas was that crazy. I feel like Chess was getting a lot of reaction too. So I mean, if it go both Shine ways, Shine didn't win, and they saying in here. Oh my God! Shine showed the difference in levels. Hey, Shine moved in into God Grand tier. Swallow and everything. That's right. You hey, damn right, yo, I am. Oh, hey, yo! Listen, man. So if Shine was getting gas, was Reed getting gas too? Like was Reed? Reed probably came with like one or two Philly cats. Oh, pick and stand in the building. Pick stand in the building. <laughs> Um, was ill will getting gas. He was getting hella reaction. Also, come on. Chess God. clearly won two rounds. He won. Wow. Oh my. So, God. guys, can I ask you a question? What's gonna happen oh if online? God. The online Phoenix world. Fly in the building. Salute the UK, them. How are you guys gonna? Are you gonna have this Mandela effect if everybody online feels completely different than how they felt on first watch? Nope, because my eyeballs work, brother. All right, my eyeballs work. He did everything better than Chess in that battle. Everything better than Chess. He did not have too much gas, y'all. I don't. That's I don't what I'm know. saying. I Thank you, like, Cece. Thank I you. I feel like 
they said no, eyeballs might work, really but what about your fly. ears, Vlad? That's my what ears saying, work too, man. My eyeballs and ears work. Right? Vlad love. Oh, they said Vlad like loves generic movie verb. references. Mm. Mm-hmm. They, no, DNA verse verb. That shit was gas. Everybody saying there's gas. The gas was crazy. You bugging, Vlad? You are correct, Vlad. You did everything was better. Crazy. Yo, there's the a gas was crazy. There's a real discrepancy here. Cece, how you say? Get the hay out your whore, okay? <laughs> Y'all tripping, man. Y'all are tripping. Sean knew that everyone was going to be saying all these things. And that man brought three whole entire rounds for Chelsea. Yo, Kay- Kay- not Kay- let Kay- Kay- told them that there were levels. Kayshawn told people to stop reacting. He's like, come on, stop. It's supposed to be quiet in here, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't see it that way, y'all. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Were they gas and rocket gnome X. How am I getting reactions? Y'all loved it. Oh my god, <laughs> Rock is getting reactions in a room where he's not supposed to. Dracula's going crazy. Let people react for Sean. Oh, they gassing him. They gassing him. Make up your minds. Okay. The levels the same. Tata people says Vlad was Sean's bars. I mean, giving chess reaction to those. Hold up, hold up. Chess. It's a question for y'all. It's a question for y'all. What's up? What's up? It's a question for the two of y'all. I'm listening. I'm listening. Was Shine's bars better than chess's? Listen, chess yes. in the third round said that Jeffrey Epstein is still alive, right? Okay. But the COVID thing is a government thing. Okay, okay, whatever. Fred the Godson passed away from it. Av got it. You know, okay, it's okay. Al Marino. Don Marino, also, he's losing his hair from it. All right, cool. It's still a government thing. It's not real. And then what your man said, y'all adding caffeine to the tea. Tea is caffeinated, brother. This was all in one stanza. And y'all telling me this man was lyrically better and was making more sense than K-Shine? Yes, people. There's tea and uh, there's caffeine and Come tea. on, y'all. Are I'm y'all caffeine. listening? Or do y'all just want to see a young man that has been struggling all his life finally level up. Is that what it is? Y'all still feeling sorry for him? For little J-Rock happened over the fence? Y'all still feeling sorry for him? Come on, man. Y'all tripping, dog. Yeah, and, yeah, and Chess Epstein was still stumbling alive. a lot, too. Shout out to Pigstan. Chess was, was stumbling a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we ain't counting that, though, right? k gave you three right. clean, flawless rounds. Chess out here stumbling. Damn near almost choked. Almost... Oh, oh, the water, the water. <laughs> he, he gave us one of those again. Come bit. on, man. What are y'all doing here? What are y'all doing? <sighs> I can't now, Chess did have some good bars. He had like the stainless. I, I, wrote, I wrote them down to give him credit because I knew he was going to be doing all this. Mm-hmm. He had like the hospital bed, the men in black. Stranger Danger Line, I think that was him too. Like he That did was have, fire. That was fire. He yeah. did have some shit, okay? And he did not choke. He did have some stumbling going on. Mm-hmm. I'm happy. But I just feel like Shine just showed him that there's levels to this. Now, that chess could have beat a lot of people probably. But Shine, it was just not enough for him. And I feel like that second round that Shine did, he pretty much sunned. That was a chess. second round KO right there, yo. That was a, I was done. <laughs> that the was a second round, round KO like, right it's there. Over. It's over because yeah. I already has Shine getting that first. For me, mm-hmm. I feel like he got the first. Mm-hmm. On first watch, I'll, I'll movie make references you know. is not levels. Oh my gosh! And Jeffrey Epstein is still alive, right? Mm-hmm. Levels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all, all Yo, I'm gonna say like is this: if, if y'all want, was, if y'all want to argue that first round, which I see a lot of y'all doing, I can give you that. Shine, Shine took the first. And then Shine compares him to Surf. He's like, "Yes, yeah, Surf is your idol," and he compared. Bruh, Sean. And guess what? Sean wasn't doing no punching in the second round or generic messages. He talked directly to he stunned him. man's soul. So you still got the punches, all your movie stuff, all the stuff you love, the performance, and he took a round off from punching just to talk to him. And y'all still don't want to give him his props? Get the hate out your or When you great, they hate. That's a That's fact. That's a fact. And, uh, and later on down the week, we'll talk about Kayshawn's greatness and where he ranks with yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to have to have a real discussion, y'all. We got to double That's back on Kayshawn's legacy because Kayshawn's legacy is definitely something special. Yeah. Um, we got to really talk about this now. Oh, did I get it right? No, here we go. Will and John, John to Don. Ill Will versus John, John to Don. We got about a little bit over 15 minutes left. Let's keep it rolling. John, John and Ill Will, what do you guys think about it? What did I say? 
<laughs> what did I tell you? We're talking to the people first. We're talking to the people. <laughs> the what people, did I tell the people. Will we... 30 ball. <laughs> Ill Will 30. LOL. Ill Will 30 says Phoenix Fire. Or Ill Will 30. Or do they say 30? The donations try so hard. With the gentlemen's the I wish I could have y'all accent so much. <laughs> God, I love did John y'all. John do anything yeah. memorable? John John did do something memorable when he put up pictures of all the victims over the last six months. Yeah, you ain't gonna forget that. It will with the thirty. Toilet, toilet, the Don. Where did that start from? <laughs> toilet, toilet, the a John. Don. A John is a bathroom or a toilet bowl. So toilet, toilet, the Don. <sighs> The John angle was repetitive for a bar with no connection. Mm-hmm. The Black Lives Matter John John the Don angle was corny. Says Harley, we wax. It will kind of fake bodied him. Mm-hmm. I, I, I wouldn't call it that. I would not call it that. And take that head off your heart. John John the Don is not the same versus Vet, says Savage Vandross. I don't, I'm not buying This was a great man. battle. A bunny says a lot of haters in the chat. Listen, man, let the people let the people speak how they feel. This is how they truly feel in their hearts, good. It's a safe <laughs> It's a safe space, even though I may not always agree with y'all. Uh-huh. It's still a safe space. Oh, it's definitely you know, a safe space. No Get your balls off, here. man. Get your balls it's off. These people are on drugs. Free speech. <laughs> <laughs> Cece right. Vlad, I'm going to let y'all set it off. Before I throw it to you, I'm going to just say this much about Will and John. I mm-hmm. thought John was very good. I just thought Will was very great. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Michigan mm-hmm. 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 like my baby trying to take a shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ever see the baby try to poop? Mm-hmm. That was no, close. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> okay, get back to the battle. Miss Michigan, let's go. Oh, I'm going first. Well, you know, I already told y'all last week. I told y'all that this was going to happen. I told y'all that Ill Will was going to come and make a statement. He was going to show and remind y'all who, who he is and why he deserves big plates on big stages. And he even said after his battle with 15 Minutes of Fame, shout out to Uncle Ra, he said the reason why that him and the URL be having issues is because he knows his book, his worth. And I feel that URL needs to start giving ill will his worth. And he had to use John John as an example. I said that he was gonna definitely have performance of the night. We could argue that. I know some people would probably wouldn't give it to ill will, but I definitely felt that he was going to have one of the top performances of the night, regardless. He did. Mm-hmm. And, you know, John John, I feel like that first round, I could probably edge it to him if I want to give him a round. But other than that, after, after the first round, it was over. Like, mm. ill will's aggression, his approach, he, like, he talked to him. He really did talk to him. And he showcased like he's he's good. He could do the main stages. He could do the small room. So whatever URL got up their sleeves and whatever they got coming up next, it will need to be on that card. Period. Man, 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 man. Ill will, Ilium, William, you were on fire all fire. three rounds. No slight to John John the Don. You did good. Your bars were dope. You know what I'm saying? You came fully prepared. No slip-ups, no chokes. You're a consummate professional. You always give 100%. Ill Will was just giving his all every single round. Like He was saying things that were just like taking it up to another level. His intensity never wavered. He had the aggression the whole entire time. He would work in the room. He was just a little bit more creative. He even had different pockets of flows that he was going into. Everything was just so fluid. Ill Will was just, he was just fantastic, man. There's no other way for me to put it, man. He was just on one every round. And to me, he got that battle clearly. John, John John was good. Ill Will was just great that night. He had a point to prove, and he proved it on probably the biggest thing that we've had since COVID so far. And he really showed up and showed out, man. Salute to Ill Will for really completing your objective, brother. Well, we, before we move on, uh, I want to get you guys' opinion on what did you guys think of John John's uh, prop in the third? Like, it's like something that would have been really effective with an audience, but I don't think that works in that room. What do you guys think of it? Let's see. I'm asking you two. 
Oh, us. Um. Oh, what was name? I thought you was talking to the chat. Oh, uh, yeah, the check is the check and answer as well. Yeah, I'm kind of. I was kind of fifty fifty on it. You know, I know he wasn't disrespecting them at all. You know, that's not his character. That's not him. But you know, to end it with the prop now, you know, now say ill will. You know, like he's one. It's like it's borderline. You took a chance. You know what I mean? Like I, I think don't it hate just, it, but I didn't love it. But it's strange because everybody you mentioned was killed by a white person, but then the last one's like a brother's killing a brother. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, man. It's, crazy. <laughs> it's like it's wait. battle rap, man. Welcome to battle rap. <laughs> I mean, didn't Geechee drop a bar saying, Yeah, yeah, I rock with avocado. Because I act like I like all y'all, but secretly I hate all y'all niggas. And I'm like, really? You know, we let you know we let that rock, actually. We didn't I'm even like, we, really? we, we didn't we didn't even we didn't even address that. Like this is what we doing. Like this is the bar that we drop in. Everyone saying peace to Brianna Taylor. Everyone who passed away and all that bars. Was that was like, ass. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, that was that was terrible, man. I was like, what what are we doing here? So yeah. which one? I mean, the John John one, the Geechee one. I'll probably roll with the John John one. I'm, you know you up. I'm over Black Lives Matter bars. Like we get it. I didn't mind I, it though. I, 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 I'm, I'm over those. Like I didn't. I felt like everyone was being I a feel little like was being more genuine. I'm this go around with it, you know, and it was a I big stage. The NBA is doing it. Everyone's doing it. I didn't mind. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mind everyone saluting, you know, so, but the Geechee bar, whoo, that was All right. Nice. Let's, get, let's get into the ultimate CC can't lose battle. Verb, a verb versus Calico. Oh, man, a verb versus win. Calico. <sighs> oh, a muscle hamster says, what could we have done better? Interesting question. For what? I think I think he's regarding <laughs> Summer Madness well, X. Um, we'll, we'll finish up with that. Yeah, well, after we after we finish this verb and cow, we'll, that's a good question we'll throw to the people. Yeah, yeah. All right, verb and cow, everybody out there. See cow two one. Thank you for the prop. Landslide uh, says the kid Leechy. Someone says verb got the third. I was verb, apologize to cow next. Cow two one. And real rap. <laughs> cow to one, cow to one, cow, cow, cow to one, says Miss Marlo, Reggie, Ta Ta, the kid Lichi, uh, pass no look. Verb to uh, one, Yoshi G. What up, Yoshi? What up, Yoshi? Flyboy Wave says cow, cow 30 says Harley. Oh, my Lord. Oh, CC's Midwest King got killed? Cow got killed? CC had the Ooh. chance to die with her city, and she didn't? That's a fact. <laughs> she survived, yo. Cal two one, Cal two one says Al Bundy. I said I went with Cal. No, no, I know. I, I guess they felt like verb one. I don't know. No, no, the, the majority of people here say Cal. I don't see any. No, words. for sure. No, no, for sure. I said I got. Cal. I'm gonna go with Cal, but he 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 better show up. But I feel like it it was the other way around. I, Cal showed up. Yeah, I'm still I feel trying like to figure I, out I what like, Verb was doing. Yeah, I feel like Cal brought it, Verb didn't match it. Yeah, That's Project nice. Rico says Verb didn't make it competitive. I, I feel about that. I'm that's, still that's, trying to figure out what Verb was was saying, yo. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a rough man. way to say it. Oh, probably a preference battle though. Uh, uh, well, I got this. No, because Cal had some. Uh, he had a haymaker. The Listen, one about the uh, the sandwich, sandwich bag whatever. line won. And, the, uh, the, and he was still eating. He oh, won the battle true. off a of one line to me. Like that line alone shut down anything else Verb had to say. And I know Verb yeah. is a lyrical wizard. He's the island god. He's in his own world. And I get that. I love myself some multis. I love myself some rapping inside of rapping also. But to me, Calico was the calico that I've been looking for. I've been dragging Cal lately too. He hasn't been bringing it like he brought it before. The last great Cal I saw was versus Ill Will. And this mm -hmm. definitely reminded me of that performance. He was not lacking. He wasn't slacking at all. All three rounds he was bringing it. He was in Verb's face. He was talking to that brother. And Cal just won the battle straight up, straight out. And I, I definitely said... I had Verb as the Midwest King. I thought Verb was gonna show. I thought Verb was gonna go crazy. I thought Verb was gonna show up, bring extra energy, wild out, show us some of that old Verb, but maintain the new Verb at the same time. But we just got the new Verb all three rounds, and it's like, dog, you gotta match that bark nowadays, man. You have to match that I'm bark. Not, I'm not gonna Don't lie. With it. I, I'm not gonna lie. This is more for Verb, but. I feel like Verb was talking way more shit on Twitter 
that he mm. did in the battle. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't get the same correlation for what we were seeing on Twitter between these two. And these two have been going back and forth for the longest, not just leading up to the bat to the, the battle being announced. Right. These two have been going back and forth for the longest, yes, whether publicly yes. or behind the scenes. Okay. I did not get any of that from Verb. I mean, there was times Verb was going somewhere and I was just trying to follow him and I was getting lost within the the rap. I had no idea. Like there was some some things I was like, what does this have to do with Calico though? <laughs> like, what does this have to do with Cal? What does this have to do with this right now though, Verb? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, like I know a lot of people were thinking that he was gonna have like a whole round about the Avo thing and calling him Calicoon. <laughs> what happened? You're not mad no more. I you, felt like you're over it. I felt like Verb came to Cal rap. Cal up to go fund me. Yeah, I felt like Verb came to me. rap and Cal came to battle. Cal came to battle you and Verb came to rap with you. And Calico just won, man. He just straight up won that battle. Hey, Yoshi, are you still the island goddess? I want to know. Are you still the island goddess after this weekend? Yes. You still he riding? <laughs> this ain't going to stop it. Oh, this ain't going to stop it. going to ride with Verb till the, till the wheels fall off. She, she oh, not going to stop it. She loves Verb. Shout out to Yoshi. But yeah, that's just how I feel. Like, I'm pretty sure once it, you know, because all the bootleg links are <clears throat> done. So once this battle <laughs> drops, on the app, you know, I'm pretty sure that we're all going to, you know, have a new set of eyes and ears. We're going to watch it all over again. I know I'm going to watch it again and just try to cipher the, you know, Morse code, which was Verbs Rounds, because I'm still trying to, I don't know. I don't know what Verb was doing. I feel like he approached the battle wrong, to be honest yeah, with man, you. I felt we got, Cal was more of the Cal that we expected and Verb did not meet that Verb that we expected and projected for this battle. So that's the simplest way I can weigh it out. We got 100% Calico. We did not get 100% Verb, in my opinion. You let's, know what I mean? So let's, uh, let's keep rolling because we got one battle. I would love to get some summer managed feedback. And we got a CPR Go ahead, report Frank. to Go. announce. So and we, got, um, we got 11 minutes left. So Go. I do want to ask everybody out there, what do you think of Summer Madness X? And if there's anything you would have thought to have made it better or whatever that you like, just tell us what you think. Let's get it. On a scale of Give 1 it. to 10, what did you guys think of it and what could have been better? We got better camera work. 7.5, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Fire event. Rumble underwhelming. All right, well, that's on the, that's on the artistry side. Talking about the Best production top side, but that's good. Ever if you More intense than UM2 finals. It oh, was you, lit as fuck. You want a like more intense. I like the set too. Okay. Says Tata. -ta. Seven says four times seven. Eight to eight and a half says G420. Eight and a half. Bill and uh, Holmesy the only drive. Five on the camera work. It was awful. Mm. Yo, can you tell me why you thought it was awful, A1? I respect a lot of A1's opinions. There was only one time that I caught where the camera, like, I guess that, that one cameraman was Oh, yeah, when it went up that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Corny the set other and camera cameraman needs help. Time, so we saw that. But that was the only thing I, I caught. Did not like the brick wall train station look. What? I thought it was better than no. I like the brick wall. Yo, I, way I, personally, I personally like the set, man. Like, you know, you got to try different things. I like the set. It did look like the back of a building to me. If you're from New York City and you've seen the back of the buildings, that's what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. Some people feel like this felt too Broadway for me, but for me, it's like, you got to understand the circumstances. I don't like the world. championship. I, with it. I don't like the championship opening major card. Didn't have a feel. I agree. I think the film, the, the <laughs> awkward like angler. It. I thought ugh, I think they filmed at awkward angles. I got tongue twisted. Audio issues a few times during uh specifically Cal and Verb. Okay. They need to go back to 24 frames per second and keeping the battles in the frames. All right. Sounds like Twiz sent you that. <laughs> oh. oh man. I'm gonna leave it there. You like that one, right? That hey yo. Oh man. That was a good little heat seeker. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. <laughs> that was wild. I Verb, definitely enjoyed it. Verb need to eat some beef. Hey, yo. 
crazy. <clears throat> All right, let's let's. Uh, what about yeah, LTBR? What do we think that could have been better? Um, as far as the angles, the first battle felt weird. Um, but that was because they try to keep it as ultimate managed as possible with no audience. Right. They try to keep it consistent from the entire way around. But the audience does make a big difference. I thought they could have been closer to the brick wall because like mm-hmm. I couldn't really get the feel of the brick wall because they were so panned out. I could see the windows, the exit, the doors. A uh, calico hit the door. The exit sign falls and like all the stuff. <laughs> um, I thought the environment was as best as it could have been. The angles were. I like the angles personally. They, I, but I do feel, hear a lot of people saying they could have been better. So uh, I'm very receptive to there could have been improvements there as well. I, I was pretty content with the event, minus Ultimate Madness 2 finals. Yeah, I was pretty cool with it. Uh, Which we're going to talk the, about next. Minus the, um, the the audio dropping out for Verb. Uh, other than that, I like the other angles. I like when they went behind the gate, you know, when they were from the roof, the way that the uh, – they had the cameraman following the battlers and giving you different angles. I didn't mind it, man. I thought it was dope. I liked the set personally. I did like the ambiance. I liked having that small little crowd there. Like that made a huge difference, having all the big dogs battle in front of their peers and people being there, giving the reactions to it. It definitely brought another level of excitement. And you can feel the energy from the battlers. I say if Lux and Surf happens with people around them, I think Lux might turn up even more. Than he did like we were disappointed in that i feel like the lack of energy from the people there definitely affects the battles and i felt like they got that right this go around i like the set i like the camera work you know nothing's ever going to be perfect but i dig it though all right let's keep moving let's talk about the um2 finals i didn't like the fact they didn't bring out the check for homesy it didn't have the same intensity um obviously him and bill did the wink wink right they're gonna go buy some property out in in jersey or in philly that's fine i'm, I'm okay with two of my guys getting paid but it just kind of put a a, a strange ribbon to a nice gift right mm-hmm. felt a little incomplete well this is the second time we've had a off the madness finale and it just was not just just didn't hit it didn't look like it, it didn't feel like it was for 25k you know, but I feel like Holmesy and Bill, this one was worse than Jay and Franz, to be this honest is, with you. This was their worst performance. So, I mean, like, like all four battles yeah. they've had, that's probably the lowest one out of that's all. That's why I feel like Savage. Maybe smack for the next one, Ultimate Madness 3, because we know we're going to get another one. Give them three one. weeks. Give them three weeks. Yeah, they need more time for the finale, because I get it. Yeah. You got writer's yeah. block. Y'all been going crazy for you went through a, you went through a gauntlet. time. Maybe you need three weeks instead and of just friends. Two. And they're really close friends who would not. And yes, no to, to more cross friendly battles. I'm over friendly battles, y'all. I don't get it. Uh, uh, Chad Admin says we owe Jay, we owe Jay and Fonz an apology. I think we do owe Jay and Fonz an apology. And I'll say this: it's not yep. easy to be potent having your fourth battle in seven weeks. So either extend the time for that last battle. Yeah. Or just increase the magnitude of it somehow. Like, even Holmesy, when he won, he didn't have this excitement to him. He had this, like, yeah, oh, you know, once I beat Danny, I knew I was going to win. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, listen, man, they came up, they showed up, they wrapped three rounds, and they got up out of there. You know, so. Yeah, Bill That's was so there. lackluster. Bill was so – maybe he was just ready for it to be over. Because, like I said, I get it. You're grieving. You got a heavy heart. And just because you bury your loved one don't mean that it just the, – the process just ends. I mean, it's grief. Everybody grieves differently. And now he can finally get a mental break, and he can, yeah. you know, figure some things out. So shout out to Bill. Shout out to Holmesy. Holmesy lost his, you know, I think it was his grandma, his grandma he said. Yeah, so, grandma. you know, again, you know, no slander. None at but, all, because Holmes, you know what, and I will say this, we, we, we got to how we felt about the battle, but overall, let's make sure we say this, congratulations to Holmes and God for yeah. becoming a part of Battle Rap History Record Books with a tournament victory under his lap, he now joins Fonz, Ilmac, the Sastard, uh, the Saurus, uh, T-Top, Ill Will, a bunch of legendary yeah. names, yeah. Be, be, yeah, I said the a bunch of legendary names being a winner of a tournament, um, his stock raised. He's going to be a top 20 guy this year. Bill Collective fought through a lot of adversity. So I can forgive the content being short. Um, I just wish there was a little more emphasis on the league side. Not so much the artists. They they, they can do what they got to do. I wish the league made it feel more important. Bring out mm. that check. Talk that shit. Get hype. Let me, get a graphic out. Let me feel like this person just won a damn tournament. You know, I feel like they just, they just, they just 
Everybody had that Henny in their system, you know. <laughs> that was the first battle of the night. That, it was yep. too early still for oh, that. Brother, they start drinking as soon as they wake up, man. You know how this thing goes. <laughs> All right, let's close off like this. We got a we got a CPR report. I've decided. Oh, to do, let's go. I've decided to do this instead. Instead of making them individual, we'll just talk about all the chokes over the weekend for at least the most monumental ones that stood out the most, right? Like we got some numbers to add behind it. All right, all right, all right. Here it is, a CPR report. Uh, first, we got to talk about RX's CPR report. She's had back-to-back chokes on King of the Dot. This is her second choke in three battles on King of the Dot, making it a high 66%. Very small sample, no! very small sample size. It can obviously uh, eliminate after a couple more battles, but um, she choked against Saint in the first round of the Grand Prix. And Thank you, Miss Marla. They give Miss Marla for the prop. And so this is her back-to-back choke on King of the Dot, two out of three, 66%. Vlad, Cece, are you guys concerned? Are you alarmed? Is there a red flag? France, I've been saying it for a while, and I know your Latino heat and all that, so you give some more grace. But Rx, this is the only thing. you got to get that together. We're going to deliver you just a little bit more. But this choking thing is something that has been consistent throughout your career so far. We're going to need you to get that together, Ma, because you are talented and you got what it takes to become a star in this thing. But this choking thing cannot continue to happen at all. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to holler at my girl RX 101. But yeah, so that, yeah, um, I don't know what it, I don't know what it may be for, on her end as to why she's having um, a hard time completing the objection cleanly. You know, everybody knows I love RX. And it hurts. It definitely hurts because I see her potential and I just want her to be able to showcase that to everybody too. Because I, in this game, a battle rap, especially a female, you got to put up or shut up. Mm. And I yeah. hate it. So, um, yeah, I, I will say 40 boys said it like the females almost have to be flawless because every time they're bad or they choke or they have uh, performances that are underwhelming, people kind of feel the need to overly like hype it. Like, this is why there's no market for you. This is why this and that. And I don't think it's that deep ever. But I mean, it never helps the critics when you give them the ammunition to criticize you. Right. So uh, two out of three back to back, something that needs to be resolved. I think I, I have no doubt that she will bounce back, come stronger than ever. But I am a little alarmed, right? My antennas are up. Kid Chaos over the weekend had a battle on a small league outside of URL. And he actually was the one that's transparent enough to say congratulations to his opponent. I had it in the bag until I choked my first choke of my career. Just a lot on me right now, but no excuses. Promise to do better next time. Kid Chaos has one choke out of 21 battles, making it a 4% CPR. His first career choke, but it's still 0% CPR on URL. Are you guys alarmed by any of this or he'll get it back together? I think he'll get it back together. You know, the fact that he's transparent about it and he's like, yo, I'm going to bring this out and it's never going to happen again. I think he'll definitely get it back together for sure, for sure. I agree. And I think, I, yeah. yeah, it happens to the best of everybody. So, And I think this was something that he was doing, like I want to say in his hometown to kind of give back to the battle rap community down there. And you know, sometimes when you're doing these things and you're giving back to the hood, you know, you may not be on it as much as you would be on it as if you were on a bigger platform doing your thing. So I get it, you know, this is the first time that we've seen it happen. So, you know, Kid Chaos will be back, man. He's a consummate professional, he's talented. I definitely feel like he'll be back. Yeah, I, I'm not concerned at all about Chaos's choke, and he's still flawless on the on the league where he's uh, feasting on right now. That's mm-hmm. where you need to stay flawless. I'm not saying that choking outside of URL doesn't matter, but you can always forgive it with the URL performance, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You guys like the CPR report? What you guys think of this? First time here, you guys on YouTube. Yes, the podcast will be available on YouTube within two hours, the audio version of the show. Yes, sir. Just go follow it. LTBR podcast or Love Let's it. Talk Battle Rap podcast. Go subscribe, man. And while you're there, go subscribe on Apple Podcasts, on Google Play, on Spotify. We're all out there. Follow the show at LTBR yeah, look, yeah. podcast, CC, look, Instagram, and Twitter. CC, look, it's not, my, it's not my fault. Everybody's saying, I heard Kid K, I started dating Hustle before the battle. And if that's the truth, <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> How was y'all see? I was hoping. Come on. Come on. I was hoping you did not see that because I knew you was going to keep the slander going. Thank you, Tata, for the prop. Salute, Tata. 
Yo, that's crazy. Kip, man. Kip, do not Kip, start Kip, that. Do not start, do not start that. that. Do not start that. <laughs> do not start that. We but, did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the chat that's said that. that. The chat said that. But I will say this: if the person in the chat mm, has a little rumor and he he know a little sun sun, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the result. You know. What I mean? <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna leave it at that, man. We're done for the day. LTBR daily, ten thirty. Enough slander for the day. Ten thirty a.m. to noon every day. The, the show will be available audio version on all streaming platforms: YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. We'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday, ten thirty a.m. We got a lot yeah. more news to talk about. A lot of battles went down over the weekend that weren't shot that are going for the app exclusive that we have yeah, all that's the details right. for. That's right. That's right, man. So go run up that YouTube for us. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. We need all of them. Let's talk battle rap podcast, LTBR podcast. Go on CC's YouTube. She's almost at that thousand. Also at CC on air. Follow us on all socials. CC is at CC on air across all socials. I am at program V on all socials and France slash the show is at LTBR podcast on all socials. Salute MC war. Salute the peacewatches.com and most importantly, salute to you guys for showing up every morning at 10 30 and rocking with us to start your morning, man. We appreciate you guys being part of, you know, our morning routine and us spending this time together. So we will see you guys tomorrow at 10 30. Peace. Good job, y'all. Ooh, I got yeah. a key. Good work. My phone kept like my um